Hello, my name is Jacob Aquilina, and in this assignment I have chosen to study Resilient by Mitchell Johnson, published in 2016. I chose Mitchell Johnson because I love cricket, and his test comeback was an excellent to watch. He is a quality fast bowler, and his critically acclaimed book was a very interesting read. In this assignment, I'll be discussing the sports delivery systems as they are experienced by Mitchell Johnson, paying attention to the format of competitions, major events in the sport, and its organisational structures. Additional information has been used to include differing points of view to demonstrate a grasp of the sports delivery system specific to the sport of cricket in Australia. Sport delivery systems have no official definition, but one way of defining sports delivery systems is a range of agencies that combine, compete and contribute to sport for all. These agencies and the competition and the services they deliver to participants at whatever level they are able to achieve comprise the delivery of sports systems. Sports systems are a development tool used by Australian cricket to build and mould young players up to the highest level of cricket. The traditional delivery system for cricket is junior club, junior reps, senior district, state cricket and international cricket. In Johnson's case, he was selected in a different path, which I will speak about later. It is important to learn and understand these pathways, not just for educational purpose, but for the athlete themselves to strive for goals. For example, getting into the junior rep team moving through the grades for your district club and playing for your state, etc. But in Johnson's case, he had little knowledge of the sport delivery systems, but it did not hinder his ability to play cricket for Australia. Johnson competed in many different sports at many different levels, with plenty of different formats. As he refers, refers to in his book on page 35, anything that got him a day off school. Johnson's main focus as a child was tennis. He made played state tournaments all around Queensland. He also did swimming, volleyball and state javelin at school level. He played golf with his dad and his friends. He played rugby league in his school area because he loved the contact. He played soccer, which was his first ever sport. His first taste of cricket was with his mum's social club and they played indoor cricket. His first real cricket game was with his mates in the schoolyard and they always nagged him to play for their club. Once Johnson started playing club cricket for the Wanderers, he was found out to be a talent as a fast bowler. The Wanderers found and funded his trip to Brisbane to a fast bowling clinic run by Dennis Lilly. Dennis found exactly what he was looking for in a fast bowler with Mitchell, young, quick and fearless. From there, he was given the opportunity to move to Adelaide to the Australian Cricket Academy. Johnson was then selected in the Under-19s Tour of England, the Under-19s World Cup in Sri Lanka, and then moved to Queensland Bulls for his state debut onto Western Australian Warriors and then was selected to play for Australia in his first test in Brisbane up until his retirement in 2015. Johnson finished his career with 313 wickets and an average of 28.41. He also had a decent batting average for a low order batsman of 22.2. Johnson finished fourth in the overall most wickets for test matches for Australia behind only Shane Warne, Glenn McGrath and Dennis Lilly. Johnson competed in many different formats of major competitions. The Queensland State Tennis Comp was usually a seeded single elimination event formatted to choose a winner quickly. The State Javelin, depending on how the competition was run, was either a single or double elimination, even sometimes using heats and a final. In cricket, Johnson had competed in many different round robin tournaments all over the world. For example, the Big Bash League in Australia, where he played for the Perth Scorchers, and also the ICC Cricket World Cup, which he won with Australia. Johnson had many great achievements throughout his career, starting in June of 1999, where he was selected in the Australian Under-19 squad to tour England. In that season of 1999-2000, he was given the award for Most Improved at the Wanderers Cricket Club in Townsville. Also in 2000, he made his Under-19 World Cup selection. In 2001-2002 season, he made his state debut for Queensland. In 2007, he made his Australian Test debut in Brisbane. A year later, against South Africa in Perth, he picked up 8 for 61, his best bowling figures. In 2009, also against South Africa in Cape Town, he got a 123 runs not out, his highest batting score for Australia, an excellent score for a non-batsman. In 2013-14, he was part of the team that whitewashed England 5-0 in an Ashes series in Australia. He was also part of the squad 
in the 5 0 whitewash of 2006 7, but never played a game. In 2014, he was given Allen Border Medal Player of the Year for his 80 wickets in a calendar season, a record. In 2015, he was part of the ICC Cricket World Cup win in Melbourne. Having not been exposed to the traditional form of sport delivery system for cricket, Johnson didn't have much ex exposure to early in his career to sport organisations. His only one early on was the Wanderers Cricket Club, where he built his love for the game, learnt his skill as a fast bowler and his talent, as well as his first taste of real cricket. There, he moved to Australian Cricket Academy in Adelaide, where he built his skills, not just for bowling, but for batting and fielding. He had his first access to high-performance coaches, doctors and physios, gaining knowledge from international players, and his first taste of high-level cricket with the Australian under-19s. From there, Johnson played with the Queensland Bulls in his state side, where he had access to the high-level physios and doctors to fix his stress fractures in his back and his feet. He also played at the Western Australian Warriors, who did the same thing, building his, his technique as just as a bowler, but also as a batsman and fielder, to provide the experience he needed to play for the Australian Test Team. These organisations developed Johnson into the cricket player he is today. Sport development is concerned with creating pathways for players to progress in sport from learning early foundation skills to achieving the highest level of excellence. The Wanderers Cricket Club in Townsville was the main driving force behind Johnson's success in cricket. They developed his skill and built from his natural talent base to make him the bowler that he was when he played. They also found and funded his trip to Brisbane in the fast bowling, for the fast bowling clinic that started his career. After a long stint on the sideline with stress fractures, Johnson returned to the Queensland Bulls and the coaches helped him tweak his slingy type action to reduce the amount of injuries that he may have throughout his career. With this new action, he was able to play a lot more cricket and, play, and bowl a lot more overs, and having less time on the sideline. These organisations helped Johnson start his international test career and built him all the way to the exceptional bowler he was, especially towards the end of his career. They've taken some blinders, the Australians. They sure needed a smile. They've got one. Oh, that was one. What an athlete. That was wonderful. It was fairly well struck. Didn't quite get the middle of that, did he? But wonderful catch. Reflex catch. Beautiful. After reading Mitchell Johnson's Resilient, I believe that Johnson had little knowledge of the traditional delivery system for cricket. However, it does show the resilience and the never give up attitude shown by Johnson to get to international cricket and the success he had, especially towards the end of his career. Having been exposed to the traditional delivery system for cricket discussed by Dr. Oldham Scott in lectures at the University of Canberra, it was fascinating to read about the unorthodox ways that Johnson took to make it to the international cricket arena. Resilient is a very in-depth look at the life and times of Mitchell Johnson one of the most successful and certainly the most vicious fast bowlers of his time. Even though he didn't make it the traditional path to fame, he was resilient and tough enough to make it. After analysing the path that Johnson took, it is clear to see that there are always opportunities to make it to where you want to go.